Hello my loves, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be continuing my pin-up pageant guide series and we will be discussing what to pack on pageant day. Now the days leading up to your pageant can be a little bit make or break, so it really helps to be organized. I would definitely recommend packing everything you need a few days before because it might surprise you what you have forgotten, even little things such as stockings, shoes, or maybe certain makeup items, you might want to have them all packed and ready to go. If your pageant has multiple rounds, it really pays to be organized. The biggest tip I can give you is pack each round separately. I always start by making a list, which is everything I'm going to wear or take on stage from top to toe. This includes all my accessories, my shoes, my stockings, petticoats, everything that I plan to physically have on stage. And then I start packing all my items. Your best friend whilst packing are these. Yes, this is a Ziploc sandwich bag and it'll absolutely be your best friend on pageant day. Let me show you why. You will need one sandwich bag per round and you are going to label it with your name and what round you are going to be having that bag for. For example, this is my day wear, which is round one. You are then going to add the list that you made and pop that into your little baggie and this is going to stay there. Next, you are going to fill up your baggie with everything that you need for that round. For example, for this one, I am packing in some earrings, some gloves and a brooch. If you do this for every single round, when it comes to pageant day, all you have to do is go through each bag, put everything on, read your checklist and make sure you have all your bags, your petticoats, the perfect shoes, your stockings, and it will all be perfectly organized. This system also stops all your smaller accessories getting lost at the bottom of a bag or a little makeup bag. You don't want to waste time looking for the back of an earring or where that brooch went and you're more likely to forget things. So by having everything inside these little pageant baggies, it'll honestly just absolutely save you so much time and stress. After you have packed all your clothes and accessories, the next thing you need to think about are your props. Make sure that they are packaged, ready to go before pageant day. Yeah, trust me, I've done some last minute rhinestoning the night before, but try to be as organized as possible. If your props need spare batteries, that is also something you should remember to take and make sure everything is charged if it's electronic on stage. You don't want things running out of battery halfway through your performance. When packing for your pageant, with all your clothes and all your props, there are a few things that I would absolutely recommend you pack. The first being a portable steamer. If you are hopefully lucky enough to have a pageant where you do have a plug and you can steam your garments, bring it. When you have a lot of things inside a bag, if you don't have clothing garment bags, your things can get wrinkled and smushed. You just wanna make sure you have a steamer to fluff up all your petticoats or your dresses, trust me, this is a lifesaver. The next thing you will pack is your makeup bag. You might have your makeup perfectly ready to go, but I would recommend bringing a spare lipstick and some powder. You don't want to get shiny, especially if it's outside and it's a little bit hot and you get a bit sweaty. By putting on a little bit of powder, it will just keep you nice and fresh looking. So take your makeup with you. In your makeup bag, please make sure you have spare eyelash glue. I don't know what it is about eyelashes on pageant day. They just want to reach for the sky. So by bringing a spare eyelash glue, you will make sure to glue down your lashes. And it's also just nice to be able to lend it to somebody as a just in case. If you're taking makeup, pack some makeup wipes. You will be nervous. I know I get the anxiety shakes and the amount of times I've done my lipstick right before I go on stage and it looks like I've fallen down the stairs whilst doing it. Makeup wipes can be your best friend. It also helps you clean yourself up in case you brush up against something dirty or if you get grass stains on your legs, you can always clean yourself up 
When you are putting your clothes on, bring a scarf just to place over your head so you don't get that foundation smear around your neckline. A scarf is something you should definitely pack. If you're bringing your makeup, you might as well bring some hair accessories. This is your bobby pins. Bring a couple of hair luckies and hair ties, some clips in case you wanna make sure your rolls and your lovely waves stay in place. And of course, hairspray. Lots and lots of hairspray. This one might sound odd, but bring some super glue. You will be amazed at how quickly props will just break or rhinestones will fall off something. By having some super glue, you can always, always save the day. In the same category, safety pins. You'll be amazed how many zips just burst. Just bring safety pins as a backup because it might just save you on pageant day or somebody else. Be the kind of pinup that is there for other pinups. Safety pins. The next thing you should pack is a little handheld mirror. Normally for pageants, you are all squished into a back room and there is never enough mirror or lighting to go around. So by bringing your own mirror, you can at least find a little patch of floor and get your face on, fix any flyaways and make sure that you look fine. My favorite thing to pack is snacks and water. If you are like me, I get really anxious before a pageant, so I tend to drink a lot of water and then I get the nervous wheeze, but we'll talk about that later. So by bringing a spare bottle of water, I can stay hydrated and I won't get a stress migraine and the snacks will keep my sugar levels up. Try to avoid anything that stains your teeth, so no overly blue lollies or bubble gum or anything like that. And avoid things that will get stuck in them around your gums, such as poppy seeds. Don't eat an orange and poppy seed muffin, just don't do it. So have some really good healthy snacks. It's also worth bringing a straw. If you have applied the most perfect lipstick you ever have in your entire life, you don't want to smear it. So if you get thirsty by drinking through a straw, it'll really help your lipstick stay in place. I also recommend you bringing a portable battery pack. It is likely that you'll be taking a lot of videos and photos throughout the day and you don't want your phone to die especially because some pageants can literally be in the middle of nowhere if you are going to a very small town for one. You want to make sure that you have enough power in case you need to Uber yourself out or call for help and back up later. Battery packs are a must. I like to have an emergency kit, which is about the same size as my small travel makeup bag. And the items you should definitely pack in there include band-aids, painkillers, any sanitary products that you might need, deodorant because you might just get a little bit sweaty, some plain stockings. You'll be amazed how quickly sometimes your stockings will just rip. So by having a backup pair, it really, really helps. A mini sewing kit is also really happy in case a zip bursts or you break a seam open in your outfit. And some clear nail polish. After doing pageants for many years, I will always have these items on hand. Even if I don't need them, there's a high chance that somebody else might. Pageants should be really about sisterhood and helping each other out. There is always gonna be a pageant first timer. So by being there with everything, you really help the community and you can make somebody's first pageant be really memorable for the right reasons. It may seem like this is a lot of things, but when you pack them into a couple of small bags, they really don't take up that much room and they can absolutely make or break your pageant day. If you would like to refer back to any of this, you can find everything on my blog, which will be linked in the description box below. But that is all I have time for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me on another pinup pageant guide. We have one more video left after this in the series and we are done. It's been a lot of fun doing this series with you guys. If you're not already and you'd like to be, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you along for my adventures of vintage glamour and tomfoolery. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. I will see you in the next video. But remember to be kind, be true and be you. Bye!